Hello everybody, welcome back, and I am the Chornik, and today ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna talk about the, oh my gosh, the most beautiful episode I've ever seen a Pokemon in my entire life. Oh my gosh, dude, I was smiling this entire episode. Dude, my heart, I think, grew like... 20 million times its size today <laughs> like oh my goodness like i was crying because i thought it was going to explode like literally and i was like people please help me i'm gonna die because oh my gosh mal was just freaking adorable i couldn't take it just every little moment of this episode like getting just to see mal this is why i love sun and moon the most is because of mal and the like, the fact that she, they really animated, you could tell, like, the quality of animation they had, especially towards the end, with her, uh, tearing up and everything. Oh my gosh, dude, I, I swear, my heart is probably pounding so hard that you can probably power the entire world, <laughs> just based off of my heart, because, like, god, I, that was, oh my god, I love Mal. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this episode, ah, I'm excited. It was a good episode. It was. It was a good Mallow episode. You know, she ran away from her dad because her dad was just so busy and kind of all up in the, the interview thing. And he was kind of ignoring that the fact that Mallow was just constantly being asked to do things. And she got just furious and put up with it. And she couldn't handle everything that she ran off. And that she eventually uh, fell down this hill and, you know, passed out. And then this Orangamu, is that what it's called? Orangaroo or whatever its name is, Pokemon's name, it, uh, I guess you could say protected her or saved her or whatever, brought her to his house and then put a bandage around her knee and stuff uh, until she woke up and when she woke up he gave her this uh, alcohol where she like drank it and then she got all like crazy and she started complaining about this, that and the other, you know, like drunk people do and <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't alcohol but it was something similar. Okay, because she was just going crazy and just drinking it like a drunk person, you know, she was acting all like nuts like that. So, I thought that was actually pretty cool that they implemented somewhat of like, that aspect in an episode, in a Pokemon episode. And like, uh, even Jesse, uh, not Jesse, but uh, Jenny and Joy, uh, even later on were complaining, I guess, I don't know, against each other or something near the end of the episode where they were drinking the drink as well but the drink reminded Mallow of uh, of her dad and I guess it this is where her dad learned how to make that drink was actually when her dad was young uh, he ran into the same the same Pokemon which taught him how to use that you know how to make that drink and that's why he makes the drink at his cafeteria now so there's a nice little flashback that you got to see there you also got to see how you know Mallow fell down the hill uh, in, a, in a rolling way, like she uh, put her hands uh, and arms around her legs and was like tumbling. Uh, same with her father, her fa like in her father's flashback, he was also doing the same thing. So you could to kind of see the resemblance between the two characters. And so like the little father and daughter relationship development in this episode was pretty nice as well. But overall, we also got to see Orangamu, Orangaroo, whatever his name is. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the heck out of it. And beware, facing off, like looking at each other, and everyone thought that, oh my god, it's gonna be like huge rivals, and all of a sudden it's just, they ended up just giving each other food. Uh, so, it was kind of cool nonetheless. This episode, <sighs> ah, I love it, I love it, I love it so much, I probably won't stop talking about it, I'll probably just like, whenever I, I'm on a down day, I'll just watch this episode, and it'll cheer me right up, dude, I, I will become 20 times more happier. Holy crap. But overall, tell me your guys' thoughts. Post in the comment section below. I also noticed that Team Rocket was wearing beware outfits when they were in their little truck shop. Their little, you know, uh, cafeteria. Their little driving cafeteria thing. So, I don't know what exactly they were going to sell and stuff. But, uh, they seemed to enjoy being interviewed for momentarily until they freaked out the camera people enough that they ran away. Uh, but overall, yeah, just like the fact that... Oh, the, the beware and then the mal. I just it. I'm sorry. Even if some people consider this a filler, I I just I, I love it so much. I love Mallow so much. I I just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't continue with this. I got. I gotta. I gotta stop it right now before my my cheeks explode or something. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, 
Thanks for watching. I love you all. Post your comments, thoughts, and feelings down below. Of course you love this episode. If you don't love this episode, if you don't love Mal even more now, I'm coming for you. I'm coming. Because <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. You need to go to the hospital. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I love you. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace off. I thank you very much.